it's an amazing place to work. It's full of really interesting people doing really interesting research. Um, and uh, yeah, it's got a lot of history um, and that history is kind of still being developed and we're still finding out new things and we're still getting involved in, um, in ma amazing science really. So that's, yeah, I find it just a really inspiring place to be. What inspires me most about the Marine Biological Association is the fact that we're connected to pretty much everything that's going on in the marine world. We've got members in 42 countries, we have things going on locally, we have collaborations with research going on in pretty much you know, every country in the world and it's really inspiring to feel that sort of connection to everything that's going on. The ability to go to sea was something that was very important when uh, they were putting the MBA together. Um, so Plymouth was one of the obvious reasons for that and having such close access to, to, the, to the vessel. As I'm sure you know, there's been many research vessels over the years. Our most recent one is the MBA Sepia and she's been with us for 10 years. She's a multidisciplinary boat so she can go very far up the river or she can go out to sea and uh, assist us with our national capability work, uh, which is NERC funded. Um, through that work we continue uh, what the MBA set up initially in 1911, the Standard Hall database, the assemblage of fish that are in and around the Plymouth area, various different locations, and it's continuing through to this day. So we're continuing on that work from all those years ago. There's a lot of blue skies research that goes on here. The people who are interested in their subject areas are really driven. Um, they're not necessarily doing research to accomplish specific goals, they're just they're doing it because that's their passion. Um, and that really shows there's a lot of collaboration that comes out of that, which I think is really, really unique to here. Marine biology is the study of organisms in the ocean, or that's my take on it anyway, and the interaction between those organisms. Emma's working here, she's counting some cells of uh, an algal species. We do this quite frequently to assess the growth of the algae that we're using. We can count cells daily and get a growth rate and just see how quickly cells are growing. Also to assess the health of algae um, that's growing in the oceans and um, see how healthy our oceans are as well. I think with climate change and the way things are going with our oceans, it's very important to assess the health of the oceans and to look at the life within that. So this is the seawater laboratory. It is an area with various seawater aquaria and that's been running um, ever since the building was first opened in 1888. Um, over time, the uh, laboratory has become bigger and more modern um, with various tanks. We have now two recirculating seawater systems with a combined capacity of over 400,000 litres. Um, this provides us with extremely good water quality and allows us to keep and breed a wide range of local uh, marine organisms, everything from um, sea sponges and sea squirts all the way up to cat sharks um, and capricorns. Um, my role is as a head aquarist. I maintain the aquaria and all the animals that we have. I'm also in charge of animal welfare, making sure that our animals um, are being very well looked after. And I also interact with researchers by giving advice and helping them to physically set up um, systems that they can investigate. What does marine biology mean to me? Um, being outdoors, plenty of variety and interest and also sort of taking my own personal interest in the sea and finding a way to kind of make that part of my, a bigger part of my life.